So today what I'd want to do is show you how to properly format your paragraphs and essays in MLA using that text entry field that you find in the assignments part of Blackboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as my student, Test Langdon, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to click on uh, this first one. No, I'll pick a different one. Uh, Thursday night, we'll say. So this applies to any course of introduction to college writing that I'm teaching. And what you want to do is you can go to content. If you have an assignments link, you can click on that, but I'm just going to go content. And what I'm going to do is come down here to assignments folder, click on that. And now I'm going to enter in, let's say, my compare and contrast paragraph. So I'm going to click on that. And here is the assignment, so I'm going to click on that. So here's your text field, okay? And what we need to do is to properly format, we need to click on here, okay? What I'm going to do is click off that because I have some text I'm going to paste in here. Now this text is actually double-spaced. You can't see that it is. But I'll show you how we can see that it actually is. I'm going to click on this button here, and what this does is it lets me see the HTML source code, okay? I can get rid of all of this text here. I'll just uh, delete it and type in this text. And then what I can do is just type over that. Now this is what you need right here, this line height 200%, okay? That's what gives you double spacing in this text field. So now, if I were to unch, then what you want to do is unclick this so that it looks like this. And literally, you can just start typing either before or after this text. You could even type in the middle of it or get rid of some of it. So once you start typing, whoops, sorry about that. So once you start typing, I'll show you. This is some text. Well, my screen is really wide, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. There we go. And that way it'll be a little easier for you to see how it is formatted properly. So uh, this is some text that I'm using, and then I'm going to just get rid of this, this, uh, this, and then we'll fix this. This is, whoops, I did it again. Leave my mouse over here. There's some Okay, so as you can see it is double spaced and what I can do is I can just come back up here then and type in my name, test Langdon, hit enter and you can see it double spaces it. Uh, Michael Langdon is my teacher. Introduction to college writing, not collage writing, college writing. And then the date. So, And you can type this in however you want. October 28th is when your compare and contrast paragraph is due. Okay, and that's how it should look in Blackboard. And the way you check this again is you come over here and you click this button. It's like got a less than and then a greater than sign. And you can see that my line height right here is 200%. Okay, it should be like a P, a paragraph style. And you can do this part however you want, but this line height, line dash height, colon 200% is what you absolutely have to be in there. The style part has to be there. You have to have these quotation marks and everything. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll post this video. Uh, well, it'll be on the announcement along with this line of code that you'll need in order to get this to work properly. Okay. So, and that'll do it. And remember, if you want to, you can do a save as draft or you can do a submit. Remember to be careful with that. The other thing don't forget is you do have special characters here. So if you do need a dash, remember a dash is actually, for all intents and purposes, it is a double hyphen. Okay. Okay, now if you also want to, you can also have a special characters. And there's probably a dash in here somewhere. Here it is right here. So you can insert a dash. 
and there it is and you can see it's as long as a double hyphen so if you just use a double hyphen that works too okay don't forget to indent the first line and that's this right here indent right so that'll indent that not indented at all and then we should be able to do this and do that I guess not well then you just gotta hit your spacebar five times that's an indent okay so that's how to basically format correctly in the text box in Blackboard. Remember, it has to be, everything, everything has to be double spaced. Okay. Hey, thanks. I hope if this helps a lot. Uh, if it does, let me know. My name is Michael Langdon. I am a teacher of Introduction to College Writing. Thanks. Bye.